All right, back with a few more defensive use of a firearm incidents for you. Um, there's more this week than I really want to put in one video, so we will again this week have two days of defensive use videos posted. So for all of you that like these videos, you'll get uh, two of them this week as well. So we're going to start off in Beaumont, Texas, which if you've been watching these videos for a while, you'll know that Texas out of any of the states has had the most by far. In Houston, literally almost every time I do these, there's at least one if not two in Houston. So Texas has a lot of these self-defense um, incidents happening. And this one, we have an adult male victim, and we have our suspect's name is Jason Omar Cruz. He's 43 years old. He was injured and arrested. And this is just, all I got is a Facebook post for this one from the Beaumont Police. Homeowner shoots burglar actively breaking into his house. On Friday, May 19, 2023, at 12.07 a.m., Beaumont police responded to a residence in the 5300 block of Wildwood in reference to a burglary in prog progress. While officers were en route, dispatched advised that the homeowner had shot the suspect who was now inside the residence. When officers arrived, they found the suspect unresponsive in a large pool of blood inside the bathroom. A BPP PD officer was instrumental in saving the suspect's life by using a tourniquet to render aid. The suspect was transported to the local hospital for treatment and is expected to survive. Charges are pending against the suspect. So these police officers arrive and save the life of this home invader. How lucky they are in Beaumont, Texas, that this guy will be back out on the streets probably in no time. All right, let's go to Alabama, Huntsville, Alabama. An adult male victim was unharmed, and our suspect, Nicole Linton. Oh, this is going to be a female, 38 years old. She was killed. A woman who tried to break into a Huntsville home early Friday morning was shot dead by the homeowner. The would-be burglar, identified by Huntsville police as 38-year-old Nicole Linton, attempted to break into the home in the 100 block of Hartside Road around 1.40 a.m. on Friday. Linton was confronted by the homeowner who fatally shot her before officers arrived on the scene. She was pronounced dead at the scene. No charges were filed against the homeowner after police consulted with the Madison County District Attorney's Office on the case. So this is a female home invader. And this is, I think, the first one of these I've come, come across I've been doing these videos on a fairly regular basis for months now, and this is the first female home invader that I've come across, and she ended up not surviving. 38-year-old Nicole Linton. Wow, that was in Alabama. Well, that's what happens. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. You're breaking into someone's house, and they got a gun. They're going to shoot you. Okay, so now we're going to go to Charleston, West Virginia where we have an adult male, uh, that was our victim, he was unharmed, and we got two suspects. 28-year-old um, Joshua Schiltz was injured, and 35-year-old Taylor Edwards was unharmed and arrested. So let's see what these guys were doing. Uh, Cross Lanes, West Virginia. A burglary in progress resulted in the homeowner shooting one of the two suspects. Deputies responded to the call at a home on Indiola Drive. Just before 11.30 a.m., investigators found a man with a gunshot injury to his leg nearby on Tyler Road. Investigators said the property owner on Indiola Drive had called the police several times this week for theft reports. At the time of this morning's shooting, the homeowner told deputies he was in the process of installing security cameras when he entered an outbuilding and found two people who started running. The homeowner told deputies he grabbed a gun and started shooting at the two people. Deputies said a man was shot and continued running through the woods where he was taken to the hospital and is facing charges. The female suspect, wow, we got another female in this one, was arrested at the scene on Indiola Drive. Okay, so this is kind of, the guy's called the police about problems he's had on his property, but he goes and he finds these guys in this building and they actually take off running and he started shooting at them. 
And this is West Virginia, so he might be lucky he's in West Virginia because I don't, I mean, if the person's running away, they're not, they're no longer a threat to you if they're running away. And, but he's not, it doesn't look like he's facing any charges. So it sounds like he got, he got lucky in that one. Okay, now we're in Charlotte, North Carolina. We got an adult victim and who was injured. And our suspect is 22-year-old Omari Tobias. And he was injured and arrested. According to CMPD, 22-year-old Omari Tobias is charged in connection with the shooting of a CATS bus driver. That must be the C-A-T-S. Cats bus driver on Thursday. Police say Tobias, a passenger on the bus, got in an altercation with the bus driver. Tobias pulled out a gun on the bus driver, and the bus driver also pulled out a gun. Both fired at each other. Medic transported the bus driver to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Tobias suffered life-threatening injuries, according to the police. On Monday, police charged Amari Tobias with several charges, including assault with a deadly weapon, inflicting serious injuries, communicating threats, and carrying a concealed firearm. The case remains under investigation. So public transportation nowadays, I mean, it, if you don't need to take it, you're better off not taking it. It's not, it's not safe anymore. And this, this shows that the guy gets, the passenger gets in a fight with the bus driver, pulls out a gun, and the bus driver has a gun on him. So you know the bus driver doesn't feel safe driving. He doesn't feel safe at work without having a gun on him. And that's that's in a lot of major cities now is the especially like the the train stations or the rail stations um at a lot of these places you know you, you hear about all the ones at Chicago and in New York the subway but it's it happens on all of them. Buses, trains, everything public transportation is not safe at all. And I don't know that even in in hardly any of these cities, I don't think they're doing anything to make it any safer. Um, they just let it, let it go on. I know where I live, they don't even charge people to get on it anymore because they just let people get on it. And it's in the winter anyway, I don't really ride public transportation, but in the winter, it's just all filled with homeless people. And if, if there's cloth seats, the seats are all filled with pee because they don't want to get up. And public transportation is just disgusting. Anyway, let's go on to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And we got an adult victim that was unharmed. And our suspect in this one, it was a home invasion. 18-year-old Sir Morgan, first name Sir, um, he was killed. An 18-year-old was shot and killed following a home invasion in Pittsburgh's Homewood neighborhood. The incident occurred along the 7500 block of Bennett Street around 10.09 a.m., Police said a homeowner fired a gun at two intruders in his house. One of them was shot while the other person fled. Police said that a dead body was found lying in the street near the house. He was later identified as 18-year-old Sir Morgan of Pittsburgh. No additional information is currently available and no charges have been filed. So these guys were breaking into this house at 10.09 a.m. So I don't know if they thought the guy wasn't going to be home or if they were taking a chance and just uh, going in knowing he was going to be there. But I looked up this Homewood neighborhood, and this Homewood neighborhood, you have a 1 in 12 chance of becoming a victim of a crime. 1 in 12. That's really high. So that's not one of Pittsburgh's better neighborhoods. All right, so let's go up. Well, here we got, we got Houston, Texas. Like I said at the beginning of the video, there's almost always a Houston, Texas, and this does not fail this week. So, all right, we got an adult male victim and an adult male suspect who was injured. The victim was unharmed. A Midwest Houston apartment resident shot a man whom he was arguing with and then called police to report it, report what he did. The Houston Police Department received word of a shooting in the 2700 block of Briar Grove Drive, which is just off Westheimer, about 2.40 p.m. According to the sergeant at the scene, an apartment complex resident got into an argument with another person who may or may not have been living in the area. The resident then walked away toward his, hu his house and shut the door. 
with the other person following, then banging on the door. Police said the resident then opened up and fired a gun three times, hitting the, the other person in the forearm. The residents, whose wife and child were at home when the shooting unfolded, called the police. The wounded man was rushed to the hospital, where he's listed in stable and expected to survive. Police noted that everyone involved complied with officers. The armed resident was held for questioning, and police don't think he'll be under arrest unless a warrant comes up or he wasn't supposed to have a firearm. So he gets in an argument outside an apartment building with some other guy who follows him to his house, assuming it was an apartment, and knocks on his door and the guy opened up the door and fired on him three times. Now, this was Houston, Texas, so this one could go either way. But they're saying that unless he's got a reason where he shouldn't have had a gun, they're not going to charge him with anything. But if the guy is outside the door and he's inside the door and he opens up the door and fires on the guy and then basically closes the door back up on him, I don't know if you can really call that self-defense. I mean, obviously the police are, and the guy followed him, so I guess you could say there was a fear for his life at that point, but you could call the police from inside your house, and as long as the guy wasn't inside your house, you're really, he's not really a risk to you. That's just my personal opinion, but obviously the Houston police, um, unless this guy's got a warrant or something, they're not going to charge him. But if he was in a different city or a different state, he might run into problems with that one because he's the other guy's on the outside of the door. He's not even inside the house and he opened up the door and, and started firing on him. I don't know. That one's a little iffy, but that I think was the last one I got for this video. Yeah, that's the last one, but I will have another one that will post tomorrow for you with a few more uh, self-defense, defensive use of a firearm incidents. And if the criminal does not fear the police, a judge or prison, he must be taught to fear his victims.